Hi, everybody. The new film Locke follows Ivan Locke, a dedicated family man and successful construction manager. After leaving work one day, he receives a phone call that sets in motion a series of events that causes his life to slowly unravel. Take a look. Hi, love. I need you to hold it together. What happened? I'll fix it. It'll all go back to normal. And writer-director Stephen Knight joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. I should say that, you know, of course, not you don't only write, you direct. You're one of the creators of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You've got quite the CV. <laughs> but when you were 21, you were a dishwasher not far from where we are right now. How do you get from A to B? Um, I don't, I, it was a, a bar called The Robin Hood in Mississauga, and I was uh, washing dishes there. And then uh, I got work in radio, and then uh, advertising, then TV, and then uh, I was writing novels at the same time, and one of them became a screenplay and it was one of those TV production places where you could be writing drama on the second floor and on the third floor there was game shows so you just walked up the stairs and said I have an idea. No kidding. No, it was, it was a good time. Yeah, it was very, very now, strange. Now, this film, Locke, takes place entirely inside the car. Yeah. Uh, with this man, Ivan is the, the uh, character, trying to make a life decision. When you wrote this, did you like? How do you keep people's attention for however many minutes inside one space? Yeah, I mean, it was sort of a challenge um, to oneself to try and make this this work. Um, I just finished making a more conventional film, and wondered, is there another way of getting people to go into a room, turn off the lights, engage with the screen, just go back to absolute basics? And um, part of the process had been testing digital cameras. Uh, shooting from moving cars in urban environments and I when we used to watch the test footage I thought it was absolutely beautiful and hypnotic and thought well maybe turn that into a theatre put a, an actor in there and shoot a stage play a one-man show so that was the plan um, and then the task really is to make people forget that it's a film that's being made in a different way in other words get them to engage with the character and the story to such an extent that they forget the form of the thing um, and so uh, I wrote a script quite quickly. Um, the whole process was quite quick. I met Tom Hardy in November. We were shooting in February. Mm. And we decided to break all the rules, basically. Mm. I found this whole project very interesting. But something a little more interesting was each and every night uh, you shot the, the movie twice. Yeah. Yeah, we, that's unheard of. It, it was sort of like approaching the film almost in the childlike way. In other words, you know, what should we do? Turn on the cameras and do it is what we decided to do. So we put three cameras into the vehicle every time. Mm. Uh, we had the other actors who make the phone calls in a conference room in the hotel with some red wine and biscuits. <laughs> we had a, uh, a phone line into the car, which was a real phone line. Um, Tom had auto cue, which is like the, 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 the these things. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, in front of him in the rear view mirror and also in the GPS so he's got the script there so the words are not a problem the other actors have got the scripts in front of them mm. I was on the low loader I would cue the actors in sequence I'd say action once we'd shoot the whole film we'd take a break and we shoot the whole film oh, again nice. Wow! Um, ended just... up with 16 movies Will it be a director's cut? <laughs> yes, exactly. yeah. Yeah. which is all of them. Yeah. Two Why? For one. Why did you do it like that? What were you hoping to achieve? Because whenever you're making a film, there's always a really logical, practical reason not to do the obvious thing. You know, people say, no, you can't possibly do that. Mm. But since this was low budget and I had an element of control, it was an why not do it like that? And in the end, by going out on the road, doing it for real, you invite sort of chaos in and things happen. And you can use those things, and it makes it more real. And I think that it gives the act the actors love it because it gives them the chance to calibrate their own performance. So when they they're emotional at the end, it's because they're emotional. Stephen, mm -hmm. describe what it's like working with actor Tom Hardy. And just for people who may not recognize the name or even his face, he was in the latest Batman. He was the arch nemesis to Batman. He was in Lawless, where he was just transformative. You could barely recognize him. I interviewed him at Cannes, mm -hmm. and and what I felt that he was this ball of incredible muscular energy that was just about to explode. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did you experience, how, what was your experience like? Yeah, I mean, it was doing that but putting him in a car as well and, and completely containing it, I think, means that all of that energy has to come out through the performance and comes out on the screen in other ways. And, you know, all the way through, the, the, the one word was less, less, less. 
um, to just fly because all the other characters are having emotional moments and getting angry and getting sad and Ivan Locke is a very practical man and so Ivan Locke doesn't lose his temper he doesn't show emotion except at the end when he does uh -huh. um, so it was just a question of controlling that energy really. Was it tough to get it uh, approved by the studio? No, they, I mean this is you know I've done a, lots of projects that take years and years and years this one the doors all flew open and it was hard to explain I think partly if you if you have a very low budget people leave you alone <laughs> which is always helpful. Go to sell, <laughs> yeah, cheap. Exactly. And also because it was such a short shooting period and because we were doing it in, in such a different way, actors were attracted and Tom was very attracted to the whole idea. Well, I'd be attracted to the wine and biscuits. Yourself. And the wine and biscuits. Yeah. Yeah. Wine and biscuits. Yeah, no, I love I'm how you in. treat your, your crew. <laughs> the film Lock is in theaters starting tomorrow. Writer-director Stephen Knight, thank you so much. Thank you.